Every year, like clockwork, the ocean off Panama brings life to the surface. But in 2025, it didn't. For the first time in over 40 years, the seasonal upwelling collapsed. Why does that matter? And what happens next? Upwelling is nature's elevator. Trade winds pull surface water away and cold, nutrient-rich water surges up from the depths. It fuels plankton blooms, feeds fisheries and even shields coral reefs from heat. In 2025, the upwelling off Panama collapsed. The ocean's natural elevator broke down, delayed by six weeks lasting only 12 days instead of two months. Surface waters barely cooled, staying at 23 degrees instead of the usual 15. Fishermen pulled up nearly empty nets, the usual bounty was gone, and coastal communities felt the impact immediately. Scientists began searching for answers. The trade winds that drive up welling had weakened and arrived less often. The intertropical convergence zone may have shifted, and La Nina could have added extra stress. The chain of causes isn't fully clear yet. But as researchers study ocean temperatures and climate models, one thing is certain, the ocean's rhythms are changing. Why? Scientists say the trade winds that drive the system weakened and came less often, the intertropical convergence zone may have shifted, and La Nina could have added extra stress, the chain of causes isn't fully clear yet. The consequences? Fewer nutrients means fewer plankton, and fewer fish. Coral reefs lose their cooling buffer and face higher bleaching risks. For coastal communities that means weaker catches, hotter seas, and more uncertainty. Is this a one-off anomaly, or a glimpse of the new normal? We don't know yet, but climate change makes extreme events like this more likely. Monitoring, models, and local adaptation are vital. The ocean's rhythms are finely tuned. When one breaks, life feels the ripple. Will Panama's upwelling return in 2026? Or is this the start of something bigger? That's the story we'll be following.